So, interior is completely gutted. Nothing else in here. Um, so, now we get to start painting and bed lighting and all that good stuff. So, uh, I'm going to run this wire wheel over all the surfaces real quick just to get up any um, loose stuff at all, any loose rust, any loose slag from the welds, any just anything at all. I'm just going to run it through everything, uh, make sure all the loose crap is off, all the real uh, shitty rust is off. We can leave surface rust, um, and it's actually preferable for the, uh, the chassis saver. So uh, I'm not going to over remove the rust as they instruct, but I will get all the loose crap off so at least it's got a uh, solid surface. So I'm just going to run through here, clean this all up, and uh, vacuum it. Okay, so I went over everything with the wire wheel, and then um, I hit it with some sandpaper. This is all, I guess, 80 grit. I used one of these Brillo pad thingies to get into the, the tinier spots. I use this guy, this is real flexible, it's got angles and stuff, so I went through there, did all that. I just finished vacuuming, so most of the dust is out. I'm going to run a solvent, white, uh, a solvent wipe over it, and then uh, I guess we can start coating. Okay, so this is what we got, has uh, all the shit we should hopefully need, something to put the paint in. An inexpensive nylon brush, and uh, they that's what was stated in the instructions is nylon. Stirring stick that came with it. I got some nitrile gloves, no latex crap here. Tack cloth, multi purpose rag, cling wrap, and some instructions that I copied off and summarized so I can read it faster. So, and then here's our lovely chassis saver. So if you notice, I'm in a garage because the uh, temperature needs to be above 50 degrees when you put this down. So, if you notice right here, we're just below that, so we'll let the car warm up just a little. But everything else is pretty warm. So, that'll about do it. So, um, I think it's time to crack the can and start stirring. Okay, um, I mixed it up. It looked really weird at first. It was all like clear and weird looking, almost like snot. But after mixing it up for a couple of uh, minutes, it looks nice and silvery. So if you notice, the cling wrap is on there. The can, the lid will glue itself to the, the rest of the can if you don't do this. So do that. Okay, so we got some chassis saver in here. Now I'm painting it on. I'm basically just hitting everything that is uh, bare steel or rusted. This stuff goes on pretty smooth. So, uh, yeah, get you a little bit here. I don't know if it's fully mixed. I hope it is. And I don't care about brush strokes because I'm just going to bedline over it. So, you know, I'll keep going, let you know how it turns out. So that stuff goes really far. <laughs> like, really far. Unless you got a big job, only pour a tiny little bit. So I didn't even fill that up to the, the ridge yet, and I still got plenty to go. I might almost have enough to finish the whole fucking floor. <laughs> So, now to move on to uh, the forward area.
So check that out. <sighs> Took a little while. It's almost looking factory fresh again. Ain't that cool. Okay. Well, now we uh, play the waiting game. Uh, instructions say anywhere from three to eight hours until the second coat. Minimum two coats, maximum four coats. So <clears throat> I'll let this sit for a while, come back, give it a second coat, um, then let it dry. Then we can move on to bed liner. Exciting. Okay, so it's been about eight hours, which is about the uh, tail end of how long you have to recoat without doing too much work. This time I even lifted the foam up because I found a way to keep them up. So everything was lightly sanded, cleaned up with some MEK. We're going to go for uh, coat number two. So, might be hard to tell, but uh, second coat's done. So if you notice, now these sides are uh, coated. Looking all nice and party. I also kind of filled in everything else that I didn't get before, cleaned up most of the, the uh, leftover dirt, and uh, I also got underneath the foam, I figured out a way to fold it up underneath the pedals too. Got some brackets and shit done. So, chassis saver's done. Now, uh, two tips for this. Um, if you only bought one brush or something, make sure to really clean this off good with MEK or um, Xylene. Uh, they talk about Xylene for thinning this stuff, so I'm pretty sure it's compatible and all that good stuff. But um, yeah, I made the mistake of not cleaning this off all the way, and it was real stiff, so I had to let it soak in MEK for a good 10 minutes to uh, soften it back up enough to use. It was a little stiff, but got the job done. This pint right here, I think this is a pint. I don't remember. But uh, whatever fucking size this is, was the perfect amount. The uh, second coat took a lot more. I want to say the first coat took maybe a third of the can, and the other two thirds went to the second coat. So uh, a pint is perfect if you want to do two coats for the uh, whole floor of the uh, jerky. Also got some body work done. The door started rusting over here on the side rail and the, uh, the driver door is real bad there's a big strip here that started rusting out so I figured I'd use some of it to uh, some of that little extra bit alright well time to let this dry for another however long I feel like and we shall monster line in the morning oh joy